What's up everyone, welcome to HD Piano. My name is Kale, and in this lesson we'll be going over I'll Be There by the Jackson 5. In this part one video we'll be covering the intro to the song. Here's how that sounds. And there you have it, that's the intro. Now we're just going to devote this section to that intro because it's very iconic and it's a really important part of the song. But before we dive in, I've got a question for everyone tuning in. So this song's primary instrument is harpsichord, and that's not a really common instrument to be used, but it was used on several very popular tracks, so my question is, can you name another popular song that uses harpsichord as its main keyboard instrument? Comment below, we'd love to see what you guys come up with. Okay, so we're starting off with an F major chord here. We have an F in the left hand with our pinky. Actually, let's play that with our pointer finger. And in the right hand, we're playing a C with our thumb, an F with our pointer, and an A with our ring finger. Now we're starting off by just playing this chord on beats one and two, so we'll go one, two. Then on beat three, we're going to incorporate a 16th note rhythm that goes like this. And if you're not familiar with 16th notes, no worries. We'll break that down for you really quickly. So our basic unit of rhythm is a quarter note, and a quarter note gets one hit per beat. So if you're counting one, two, three, four, quarter notes sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now eighth notes take that a step further. Eighth notes get two hits per beat, and we're going to be using those in this song too. So eighth notes would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now in order to count eighth notes, we have to add an extra syllable in between each beat. So to do that, we count like this. One and two and three and four and. So anytime we're talking about eighth notes in this song, I'm going to count them just like that. Now sixteenth notes go a step further by getting four hits to a beat. So if you're counting one, two, three, four, sixteenth notes sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now that's a lot of notes, and we're not going to be playing even close to that many 16th notes. In fact, this is the only 16th note rhythm in the whole song, but it's an important one. Now to count 16th notes, we have to add even more syllables, so we count them like this. 1 e and a, 2 e and a, 3 e and a, 4 e and a. So in this case, we're going to be playing 1, 2, 3 e and a, 4. So we're playing on beat 3, this F sus chord. That'll be a C with our thumb and an F with our pointer finger exactly where they were before, and our ring finger is going to move up to a B flat. Just ever so quickly, because on the E of beat three, we're moving it right back down to A. So we'll go one, two, three E, and a four. And on beat four, we're also going to play this F in our left hand again. So the whole first bar is gonna sound like this. One, two, three E, and a four. Then after that, we're moving to an E flat sus chord here. So we're going to play an E flat with our middle finger in the left hand. And in the right hand, we have a B flat with our thumb, an E flat with our pointer finger, and an A flat with our ring finger. And we're going to play that on beat one, really staccato, so short and sharp. And then on the end of beat one, we're going to move that ring finger directly down to a G to make that an E flat major chord. So one and. Then we're going to hold that out into beat two, so one and two and. Then on the end of beat two, we're going to jump down to a B flat major chord. That'll be a B flat with the ring finger in the left hand, and in the right hand, we have a B flat with our thumb, D with our pointer, and F with our pinky. So one and two and. Now on the end of beat three, we're going to do a little figure in our left hand that goes like this three and four and. So on the end of beat three, we'll be playing a C with our middle finger. On beat four, we'll be playing a D with our pointer. And on the end of beat four, we'll be playing an F with our thumb. So one and two and three and four and. So after that, we're gonna be going back to the very first bar of our intro, which will go one, two, three, and a four. Now we're not gonna be playing that F on beat four in that bar, keep in mind, we're just going one, two, three, E, and a four, just like that. And then finally, for our last bar of the intro, we're going to go to an F sus chord. So we'll play a B flat with our thumb, 
a C with our pointer, and an F with our pinky in the right hand. And we're going to hold that out, and on beat four, we're just going to play the C with our pinky, and that's going to lead us into the verse part. So one, two, three, four. So to recap, here's how the intro sounds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try playing that both hands together, and then you'll be ready to move on to the verse. And congratulations, you've learned pretty much the hardest part of the song. So really slowly, both hands together. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and a four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and a four. One, two, three, four. And congratulations, you've learned the intro to I'll Be There by the Jackson 5. Head over to hdpiano.com to tackle the remaining sections, and while you're here, please subscribe, like, and drop us a comment. Check us out on all social media, too, at hdpiano. We'll see you over at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson.